Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse, home of Lynn English basketball. Lynn English, the Bulldog, taking on the Red Devils from Chelsea. English looking for their 12th win. They're 11 and 3. Chelsea, 5 and 9. Cesar Castro, the head coach for Chelsea. Alvin Abreu doing an outstanding job for Lynn English. They're announcing the starting lineup. Kyle Kemberbin wears number two. Number three is Denzel Guyen. Paul Will Deng was number 10. Number 13 is Pierre Veras. Number five is Joshua Anderson Jr. They've got three losses. A couple of them were, they had them stolen away. They went right down to the wire. One against Charlestown, they led going into the fourth period. They lost by a couple. So they could have a couple of more wins, but they do have 11. Looking for number 12 tonight. So the Bulldogs against the Red Devils, and it's going to be awful hard to pick up the numbers because the Red Devils are wearing red shirts with red numbers. And it's almost impossible to pick up the numbers on their back. I don't know who made up these costumes, but they could have at least put white numbers on the back. Not easy. Anderson will jump center, he has an advantage. English has a huge height advantage. And they get a chance to get on the board first. Shot is missed. And we're gonna get a foul in the melee. Everybody went to the floor. It's on English. Steps called against Chelsea. You may hear a lot of cheering because we're right almost in the middle of the student section. They usually go down to the end of the court, but they decided to go to midcourt. English again with a chance to get on the board first. Off the glass, no good. The rebound by Veris. He got hit, and Vermis will get two at the line, looking to put English on the board. This is the first. This is the second. They kick it out. Anderson had it, lost it. They go deep. And it's up and good. Chelsea gets on the board first. <laughs> Tip taken away. And we got a foul against English. I apologize, I have no idea. I think 
It was number two, Muhammad. Pick up the shot. Three point shot, no good. English battling for the rebound. Anderson kicks it away. Shot missed. Chelsea looking to break. And they throw it away. Chelsea small and quick. He was shooting a lot of one on one. He missed the shot. Chelsea comes away with it. They got a break again. He almost threw it away again. Shot misses. The kick out. Dang gets hit. He got, he got bumped, but he took steps first. Delvis Crusetta coming in the game for, for English. English slow getting off the boards. They've missed a few shots. They dominate the boards, but they're not putting in the basket. And we're going to foul against English. We haven't played two minutes and English has picked up three fouls. They get the five, Chelsea will be shooting free throws. Tip, but knocked out. And now they call it off Chelsea. English still looking for their first basket. We played two minutes. They, they don't have a point. Dang, lost it. And we got another break for Chelsea. And they make the layup. We're going to foul against Chelsea. And it was 15 Garcia getting the basket. And English still looking for their first points. Anderson can't get loose. They knock it away. Shot, no good. Three point basket by Dang finally gets English on the board. Took him almost three minutes. I think we got a foul against Anderson. That's the fourth foul. Second foul on Anderson. I'll have to find out who number 15 is. He just came in the game. He wasn't on the roster. Stolen away by Dang. Underneath, they lost it. Chelsea trying to go deep again. Blocked the follow up and good. Carenzo with the basket, I think. 
I, I, it's hard to believe they could put jerseys out with numbers like this because you can't even read them. It's just completely red on the back and they don't stand out at all. But well, English short enough to get a timeout. Six to three, Chelsea. We played just about half the period. Game's three point basket is the only points and the only basket that English has. And English is, with, is the team with 11 wins. Chelsea's the team that's only got five. Alvin Abreu talking to the troops. They should be dominating. They got a, a huge height advantage. They've got inside a couple of times. And they've missed layups and putbacks. So the roster they gave me does not have a number 15 for English. Camilla Buishi in the game for English. Buishi strong, can't hit it. Blocked. Dang shot doesn't go. Follow. English will get two at the line. And that'll be Boishi. That's their shrink off the boards, getting two or three chances. But they're not putting it in. Makes the first. Makes them both. English is back within a point. They go inside, he missed the shot. He almost took it away, Dang saved it. Shot, missed. Follow is up and good by Guyenne. They try to go inside, taken away. Falls on the floor, goes to English. They missed the layup. They had the easy layup and they missed another one. Tank shot, no good. The rebound is good by Kanemban. He is with a six point run. Kanemban looking for a conventional three point play. And he gets it again because Chelsea stepped in the lane. Late whistle by the rough. <laughs> Missed it again. Stolen away by Deng. Walked right around and called it for steps. I don't know if that was steps. He was dribbling the ball. He didn't stop, he just went step left, step right, laid it in. <laughs> Steps called against Chelsea. They were gonna take the three, couldn't get it off. And then took a step to try and go to the basket.
trying to go to the basket. English trying to do an awful lot one on one. Not getting everybody involved. Missed the free throw. Made one. Missed the layup, but they left the layup. Muhammad get the basket. Taken away. Another layup. All of a sudden it's 10 to 10. There was Carenzo. I think. Chelsea going to a zone. English call for traveling. English trying to force Chelsea up tempo. Shot too strong. Veras with the rebound. Pass picked off and we got steps called. I thought they're going to call a foul against Boisi. A minute left in this first period. It hasn't been artistic for either team. We got a whistle. I think the foul is against Chelsea. And if it is, it's their fifth foul. English will get two at the line. Harris makes one. And he makes two when he breaks the tie. Stolen away and saved by Boisi. Harris made the save. Steps called against Boisi. He thought he got hit first. Trouble, they throw it away. Vera stole it. English knocked it out. Chelsea gets it back. They can take the last shot. The shot clock is off. They try to go inside. They did complete the pass. And the shot went halfway down and back out again.
Lorenzo scored the basket. Wrap around doesn't go. Chelsea is automatically sending people down court. Seven seconds left in the tie game. Dang shot misses at the buzzer. So Chelsea had a six to three lead. English had a nine to six lead. It winds up 12 to 12, tied at the end of the first period. We'll start the second period. As we started the first period, dead even. Chelsea has the basketball. Off the rim, no good. Chelsea's only getting one shot at the basket, but they've had a couple of fast breaks. Chelsea picked it off and saved it. They had that fast break, they missed the layup. Going to the basket, English makes contact. Non-shooting foul. Locked inside nicely. The bounce pass somehow got through. Julien laid it in. And English is back on top by two. Inside, Anderson read the pass, it picked it, but he commits the foul, and that's his third. And I think he's going to have to go out. <laughs> that's a big loss for English. He's been playing outstanding the last few games. Now he has to sit out. Steps called again. Step left, step right. Tough shot. Again, English going one-on-one. -on -one. Dang, knocked it away, knocked it out, knocked it off the official. English has missed a lot of easy shots. That goes off Chelsea into the English bench area. Give and go. Chelsea reached in and got a piece of Veris. Non-shooting foul. Again, they made the shot, but again, they're going one-on-one. -on -one. Not getting everybody involved. Hey, like, 
Almost threw it away. Now it's taken away. Nice job by Ding. Almost lost it. Gets it inside for the layup. That's Veris. Now Chelsea gets it right back. English fell asleep. They left Colin all by himself. Almost stolen away. He just had it. A six nothing run to go up 18 to 12. That quick basket cuts it to four. Again, a tough shot. Looking to do one on one again. He tried to save it for the boy, he threw it behind his back and he got a break because it went off English. Three point shot was halfway down and come back out again. Chelsea got a piece of the shot, gets a piece of it again, and they got another break. Colin again. And back within two. They're getting a lot of fast break baskets, and English taking some tough shots. Swatted away by Chelsea. <laughs> they missed the layup. Chelsea commits the foul. And Buishi will go to the line for two. The English has missed a ton of easy shots. Makes the first. Makes the second. Three point shot, but we see with the rebound. Kelsey takes it away. Shot doesn't go. Luisi winds up with it. Tough shot, but he gets it to go. In and out, that one halfway down. Tough pass, but Wishy easily picked off. And now Dang does the same. Ferris, they didn't see it. He got hit from behind. And they're saying he lost it out of bounds. Chelsea got a break there. In and out again, how many of those have they have? Nice pass to Veris. They gave the ball up that time, they got an easy layup and scored. And English has their biggest lead of eight. <laughs> We're gonna foul against English.
He almost threw it away. He come up with an air ball from two feet away. English made him alter the shot. Dang, again, one on one. Follow doesn't go. Follow doesn't go. The fourth time it goes. You give him four shots, it's going to go. So Chelsea with four points in the period. So a 14 to four run by English here in the second period it has opened up a 10 point lead, but it hasn't been easy. English's shooting percentage is very low. They've missed a ton of layups. Two thirty four left in this first half. He was looking for win number 12. As we welcome February in, January is now gone. And I'm still wondering where football and soccer went. And we're at the tail end of the basketball season. English will be playing in the Spartan Classic coming up in a couple of weeks, February 17th. English with that full court pressure, they force you to go up tempo. And they double or triple any chance they get. They try to go underneath, they get tipped away. Tipped away again. Gullien knocked it out. Three-point shot, tipped to himself. That was Alpha Gene did a nice job tipping the rebound to himself. Chelsea picked it off. They go inside for the easy layup. Garcia. They get stuck in the backcourt, but they beat it. Shot missed. And Kemberman, English is getting three or four cracks at it with rebounds, but they've missed a ton of shots. Kemberman will get two with the line. Makes one. Strong drive to the basket. By Mohammed. And again, one on one, but he gets it to go. Julian just said, I'm going to the basket, get out of my way. At the last second, it rolled off the rim and went in, and he'll look for a three point play. If he makes it, English will match their biggest lead. Missed it. And we're going to get a foul. I think it's going to be on Kemberman going over the top. His second foul. Both teams have committed four. English by nine, 29 20.
Steps called. He stopped. He was going to make the pass outside. Then he was going to throw it to the corner. And he wind up traveling. Around the rim, it didn't go. Ingles with another rebound. Can't hit it. Chelsea with a break. And they lay it in. Right. With the basket. <laughs> yep, small. Against English. <clears throat> Final 40 seconds of this first half. They go inside for the wraparound. Mohammed. Luisi misses the shot. Kelsey tipped it, but English gets it back. And then English throws it away. Chelsea can take the last shot. Shot clock is off. Off the rim, no good. Wingles had a 26-16 lead. Chelsea goes on an 8-3 run and cuts it, that 10-point lead in half. English shooting percentage not very good, especially on layups. But they have the lead. It's English 29, Chelsea 24 at halftime. Welcome back to the Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse as we start the second half. So English made that pretty good run, 14 to four to open up a 10 point lead. And then Chelsea had a little bit of a run at the end to cut it in half. And it's a five point lead. English has the basketball. They go inside, they miss the shot. The Anderson with the rebound gets hit. He'll go to the line for two. English going to the basket. Chelsea's trying to double up. If they move the ball, they've got people open for the easy layups, not the hard layups. Going in against two or three defenders trying to get the shot off. Innocent gets the bounce. That's his first point. He had to sit out a lot of the first half, and that hurts English. Makes them both. Three point shot off the rim. Again, English. Kelsey getting one shot. Chelsea almost picked it off, and now English. I thought English knocked it out, but they're calling it off Chelsea. Dang, outside with the basketball. Hits the three. That's his second three point basket. A 5 nothing run has got the lead back to 10. They didn't call it blocked. They didn't call a charge. Bodies went down. Now we, they're going to call a block. Denzel Gein, he gets his get going. I'm going to the basket. Guy. He looks like he's a halfback trying to gain a first down for a yard or two. He just puts his head down and goes to the basket.
Anderson with the shot, can't hit it. Now we're gonna jump ball. It'll be Chelsea's basketball. I think this almost looks like we're in a 1-3-1 one, one zone because they're looking to double and triple any chance they get. Taken away. Here comes Guyen. He gives it off. Easy layup for Kamembin. They go underneath. Can't get the shot off, and he took steps trying to pass it off. Looked like he had an easy layup. Had to go underneath the basket. Couldn't get the shot off. Tried to make the pass, took a couple of extra steps. Luisi can't hit the shot. Follow was up and good by Veras. A 9 nothing run has given English their biggest lead of the day. 38 to 24. Shot off the rim. Chelsea gets the rebound. They go inside. Can't hit the shot. They force him to alter the shot. That's that height advantage that English has. Chelsea knocked it out. So it took English a while in the first period to get on the board. It's taken Chelsea a few minutes to get on the board here in the second half. Long three-point bomb by Guillen. He's got 10. In the lane, he came up short. They got what they wanted. Steps called. Three running steps, didn't put the ball on the floor. And Chelsea throws it away. He was finally appearing to put this one away. Anderson Banks that went in. I don't think he played glass, but he'll take it. They go inside, they lost it. Tipped away, Chelsea gets it back. They got to get it up. Around the rim, down and out. Guyen had it, lost it, Chelsea grabbed it, and then Chelsea lost it out of bounds. So English got a break. Halfway through this third period, Chelsea hasn't got a point. Another long three-point bomb. Going over the top was Veris. A 14 to nothing run. Let's give it English a 19 point lead. Stolen away. Puisi steps around and lays it in. And the lead is now 21. And they dribble again. They got stuck. And Chelsea coach Castro calls timeout. <coughs> Boom. 
Four and a half minutes into the third period, Chelsea hasn't scored. And English has come alive with their best period. Chelsea had that little dip, little bit of a run at the end of the half to cut a 10 point lead to five. And now they've been blotted out here in the third period. Three and a half minutes left. So we played four and a half minutes, they haven't scored. And English has put up 19. Forty-five to twenty-four. Chelsea will have the basketball. But they dug themselves a hole that I don't think they can get out of. Off the rim, no good. Again, one shot at the basket by Chelsea. Guyen, again. Strong to the basket, get out of my way. He missed a shot, he threw it almost over the backboard, but he get hit, he'll get two at the line. Makes the first. Gets the bounce for the second. Stolen away. Dang, hit the bottom of the rim with the, re the layup. Hammerman picks up the loose ball and lays it in. Dang went in by himself. Hit the bottom of the backboard. Off the rim, no good. Chelsea get their first offensive rebound. Blocked by Guillen on the attempted putback. From the free throw line, can't hit it. Kimmerman's going to get called for going over the top. A 20 to nothing run here in the third period. Off the rim, no good. Chelsea can't buy a point. Guyen gets grabbed again. Looked like he was going to give the ball up. And he decided I'll go to the basket. And they grabbed him. No one shooting foul. Yeah, we got a foul. Guyen trying to get position. Just reach around and wham. Chelsea pushing him away. And you don't get away with that. That's his third. Tipped away, knocked out by English. We found out that number 15 is Shane Norton Saman. She's doing a lot of dribbling. English almost picked it off. Knocked it out.
Almost taken away, now it's taken away. Veris goes in and lays it in. They get stuck, goes to the floor. They finally get a basket. Mohammed lays it in. Took him almost seven minutes. Steps called. So Chelsea won't get shut out. But they're down 25 points and they double, triple, and they're just picking the ball away. And Chelsea was out of bounds. Kelsey knocked it out again. Milton Samad will put it in play. Parisi got stuck in the backcourt, but they fouled him. Did they call a timeout? I guess they did. I guess Chelsea did. They put the foul up on the board. They went. They put the player zero up on the board to foul, and he's got zero fouls. Fifty-one to twenty-six. It took him almost seven minutes before Chelsea get their first bucket. English won a twenty-two to nothing run. So whatever Alvin Brazil talked about with the troops at halftime, it worked in this period as they come out on fire. And defensively, they haven't, Chelsea has, hasn't taken that many shots because they've been turning the ball over. They've been trying to dribble against the double, triple defense, and it's cost him dearly. So we knew it was going to be a problem for Chelsea because English has dominated them height wise. And they've only, when they have been getting shots, they've only been getting one shot. Dang lost it, and they make the layup. Now, English turns it over. Huyen, Anderson, and Kimberman coming back. Chelsea can almost run the clock out. There's a three second difference. The foul will be against English. I don't know if they're gonna call it a shooting foul. I think it's Rosetta Teneo 
No, they're not calling me shooting fouls. Chelsea hasn't shot a free throw in the game. Along the baseline, shot blocked, they're going to call a foul. So whether we're shooting or not, it'll be the fifth foul in English, they'll get two at the line. So they finally get to shoot free throws. And I think it's Christian Colin. <laughs> Mr. Ferg. Alexander Rodriguez in the game for the first time for English. Yeah, Miss both. Well, Chelsea can't hit the free ones either. English can take the last shot. Steps called. That's going to do it for the period. Well, Chelsea, very late in the last, just about last minute, they got their only four points of the period. English puts up 22. And those 22 points came the first 22 of the third period. It's 51, 28 English very comfortably ahead at the end of three. English will have the basketball as we start the last eight minutes and they're gonna pick up their 12th win. Chelsea kept close for the first half, down only five. But it's been all Bulldogs. And now right off the bat, Kemberman goes strong to the basket and lays it in. He's the third player in double digits. Behind the back pass. They go underneath. They get the easy layup. So it didn't take him as long in the fourth period as it did in the third. Julien stops for the jumper. Shot missed. Stripped, the ball goes to the floor. Still on the floor. Still on the floor, they finally blow the whistle for a jump ball. It'll be Chelsea's basketball. Long three point bomb tip into the hands of Kemmerman from Anderson. Here comes Guyen. Get out of my way. I think they're going to call it on the floor, not a shooting foul. Out deep to Buisi. Here comes Guyen, Anderson, try to make the pass, they blocked the lane. Kevin gets the easy layup. You know, we're gonna get a foul on Norton Samad. But again, Chelsea again, putting the ball on the floor, dribbling, trying to beat 
to two or three defensive players squeezing them and it's cost them dearly. They missed the layup. Anderson knocks it out. When they get inside, those big arms of English are forcing them off the shots. They almost lost it. Banking it in. I don't think he called glass, but he'll take it. Where's my water? Luisi missed the layup. Right there for the putback was Kemberman. Shot up and good. Shot is shot. Again, waiting to get the shot blocked from behind. He missed it. And that's Norton Samad laying it in. He gets on the board. Oh, they need, again, they force him to alter the shot. They missed a wide open layup. And there's Guyen missing it. The follow was up and good by Kemberman. Another air ball. Julien throwing it in. A block against Milton Samad. Halfway through, he shall make a host of changes. Marvin Perkins coming in the game. <laughs> Tipped up. Picked off by Perkins. Inside, they give it up to Boishi. He becomes the fourth player in double digits. Taken away. Guyen lost it. Ferris is there to scoop up the rebound and lay it in. Swatted away by Boishi. English looking to make wholesale changes. Turn around, they hit nothing but air. Made a great move to turn around, but they missed everything. And they got another player they do not know, 24. Luis Hidalgo. 23, Eduardo Fernandez, 35, are in the game, but I don't know who 24 is. They threw it in bounds, and it just fell in bounds. Rodriguez tried to make the pass. Alpha Gene coming in.
off the point. Now, Gene banks it home. We got a foul against English. Chelsea's made a few changes as well. As we're playing this one out, Chelsea had that little mini run to cut it to five at halftime, and then a blowout third period. Stolen away by English. He was on that 22 to nothing run. Off the rim. English turned it over. Banking it in, Michael Fortune. Strong to the basket, you get hit. Luis Hidalgo will get two at the line. This is the first. Missed the second. That's almost picked off. It got tipped by English and it got re-tipped by Chelsea. Chelsea came close to being shut out in the third period. They scored four points in the last minute to end the 22 to nothing run by English. And Alvin Abreu just emptied his bench. And they're just taking it easy. Running some clock, shrinking the game. Okay, we got a foul. Won't be a shooting foul. <laughs> it is a shooting foul, I'm sorry. I think we're going to give it to him. Missed the first. Made one. Taken away, Hidalgo. Alvin and Brew told him, hold it out. Just run the clock. They're just looking to run clock. And Chelsea will foul. Won't put English at the line. Next one will. Just looking to shorten the game up now. Run the clock. You don't need any more points. Alpha Gene goes to the basket and lays it in.
Chelsea's holding it out as the clock is running down. Well, Chelsea winds up with 13 points in the second half, eight of them in the fourth period. English wins it 76 to 37 for their 12th win of the season. And it was a 20, Chelsea had a little bit of a run at the end of the second period, cutting a 10 point lead to five. English came out starting the third period. They outscored Chelsea 22 to nothing. Chelsea finally got four points at the end of the last minute of the period. And it was all over after that. Alvin Abreu unleashed his bench. They, they held the ball most of the, at the end of the game to, to shrink the, the score. But 76-37 is the final score for English. I don't know who 24 was, but he got one point. Shane Nolton Samad got two. Alpha Jean got four. Paul Will Deng hit two three-point baskets for six. Joshua Anderson Jr. had four. And then the four triple scorers. Buishi got 10. Veras got 14. Kemmerman had 17. Gillian had 18 as English poured it on in that third period and just walked away with an easy win for their 12th win of the season. They'll go 12 and three. Chelsea will go to five and 10 and it'll get a little more difficult for English the rest of the way, they've got some important games coming up, including the Spartan Classic. But they'll take it for their 12th win. And that 22 to nothing, third period, Chelsea almost got shut out. They scored their only four points in the last minute, and they only got 12 points in the second half. 13 points in the second half. And English wins it 76 to 37 in a runaway. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time. Since 1986, Lynn Educational Television has enabled students to work in the television industry and learn how to produce media. LETV creates working opportunities for Lynn students, giving them the benefit of gaining real life work experience in production. Lynn Educational Television brings value to Lynn students, delivering standards based curriculum in the classroom from middle school to high school. LETV creates future generations of media professionals.